call on China to uphold its laws and international human commitments. And we support the United Nations High Commissioner of Human Rights call to release all rights activists, civil society leaders, and lawyers detained for peacefully exercising their freedom of expression or for lawfully practicing their profession. Thank you, Mr. President. And the media then to be supported by an issue of public rules by the government to hold the account of perpetrators, including agents of the state and members of our or armed groups, would greatly assist in restoring public confidence. I strongly encourage the government to embrace offers of assistance from the African Union and the United Nations to support country in power and the scary country back to the need for their path of peace and development. Six months after my extensive reports to this council and despite notable territorial losses, uh, Robert Haram has retained his capacity to inflict the immense suffering in the countries of the Indian Basin, notably through his hideous use of human bombs, mostly women and children who may not know they are carrying explosives. In Europe's solution of this regional crisis requires all forces involved in counterinsurgency operations to coordinate closely and ensure that their actions comply with international human rights, humanitarian and refugee laws. It is vital that the debate state based in an atmosphere free of censorship and intimidation. I also acknowledge the government to urgently attack the anti-torture and the security bill. In Malaysia, uh, the democratic space continues to be limited 